So recently, I have bought a few new toys. I one of them being this tripod here, a uh, new microphone, and also recently this new MIDI keyboard, it, the Alesis V25. And with it actually came a license to Ableton Live Lite. And I've been playing around with it for uh, just a little bit, and I'm pretty comfortable with, with the software. And I actually wanted to try and make some music with it, like just live and try something else. Of course, I'll be doing, a, I'll be trying to do a vlog later on down the road on this new microphone and this tripod slash selfie stick. Yes, I'm actually going to be switching to a selfie stick too. There's a good reason for that. But if you if you want to skip that for the time being, there is a link down in the description to the products that I'm using. And but so yeah, let's go to get started. I, I want to try to make some lo-fi in Ableton Live Lite. Um, so yeah, I guess we'll just go ahead and get started. So I guess the first thing to do then is to take the uh, mini mini cable here that came with the Alesis that came with the V25 and then plug one end into the computer and then the other end into the USB port on the back. All right, let's go ahead and get started. All right, so here we are here in Ableton Live and you and what you get in this version is a, a variety of, a small set variety of samples. You get to work up to eight uh, tr tracks here and that should be enough for uh, lo-fi and I've been looking through some of the samples I think I've actually found some that I want to look with uh, starting with the lead sample here I'm going to go ahead and go under samples and I need to scroll down I'm still trying to learn how Ableton works from here and out too but I got I got it just a bit here it is all right so yeah this sign sign soft square sign yes that that one right there we're going to go ahead and just drag that into our MIDI here oh, is that not how it works no Okay, so let's try pulling in an instrument rack, get rid of this audio for now, and then come back and drag that in then. No. Oh, no, I got to drag it down here. That's right. Uh, so drag that in. There we go. Now we got it loaded in. So now if I go. But it's not looping like I want it to. I want this to be able to loop. So we're going to go ahead and add loop to this and then I'm going to use some of the controllers here to change out uh, some of the things. So if I hold on a note, find something that works, maybe change the amount of voices here. Maybe let's say, oh, I don't know, maybe about 20 or 16. All right, that sounds good. Go ahead and add on some release. I want to be able not to hold this down, but just add some uh, release to it. We're getting somewhere. We need a little bit longer though. That's better. That's sounding more more like it. Um, I think after that, then should be that should be good to go. Um, let's go ahead and maybe just mess around with some of the presets here. We can't even hear anything now. No nothing. Ooh, I think I like that. I do like a chord degression. I don't know if it's called a chord digression or a chord progression, but it's something along like. And then. Add a, a lead to it later on down the road if I want to remake remake this just a little bit. Okay, but yeah, that's 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 what I'm build my song off of. But we definitely need to turn the tempo down to say maybe about right there. Yes, cool. All right, so we're good to go. So this view is is for like the arrange these. Uh, session if, if you just want to like come up with your own beats before dragging into this arrangement view which is where most of us should be working on or working with later on down the road but yeah let's go ahead and get our first beat in and now shall we say Thank you. 
Yeah, I like that. So, so I basically just quantized it really quick and then made all the uh, velocity notes down here in unison. And it's, lo it's looking good here. So I think I want to go ahead and find a sample for a drum pattern here that could go well with this beat. And I'll have to use uh, in the, arrange the arrangement here. Uh, let's see. That's going to be something that are like completely out of time, but the nice thing about this is Ableton's able to warp uh, some of these samples into the correct tempo, so it's in sync with the tempo, despite that it says it's 128. It will automatically revert it down to 80. Now, re results may vary, but still useful. All right, let's see what we can find here. Let's try... No, doesn't really fit it. Oh, no, no, no. Well, now we're getting somewhere. Oh wait, no, hold on. This is hip hop section. This is something actually I need for like if I'm gonna do a lo-fi hip hop. That's too simple. That's too harsh. It's not enough. Ah, that that's way too complex. <laughs> Ugh. There it is. Yeah, this is the one. There we go. That's a little loud though. Now let's see. Now I would like to make it sound a little bit uh, fuzzy, so it has that little, what is it, retro-y feel, like a little, like on those old radios and stuff. And adjust some of these key themes. Oh, I got to, I got to turn it on first. Oh, there should do it. And we're gonna have to EQ this a little bit. Just to make it sound a little fuzzy, there we go. So now also I think that this uh, saw square sign, whatever the signature is, also makes a really good bass. Well, a bass, if you know what I mean. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do here is take uh, this instant, this thing that we made, I'm gonna go ahead and duplicate it down by holding down control and dragging down so we have another session here. And then I'm gonna quickly enable it. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna record some bass themes in, or some bass notes in here uh, alongside with these other ones here. Perfect. Here. Yeah, make it really bassy. There we go. What I want to do is put in some automation. Let's see where is the little, where is the sucker? How do you how do you do it? Oh, I think it's here. Yes, perfect. So yeah, I want to put in some pitch bend here. Um, at the beginning of this. Let's see, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna do the MIDI control pitch bend, and then at the end of each eighth note here, we'll restore back to normal, but have a little bit of pitch drop on the first, whoop, uh-oh. Yeah. Something like that will help it. Just make it give a little bit more of like a worn out sound if it's what we're looking for here. I like that. So now what I'm going to do is basically add in those riffs that you heard earlier into the song but on a separate instrument just so it's not interfering with the automation because then the it will just the pitch bend will might affect uh, those that make it sound like that unintentionally. <laughs> Perfect. 
That's exactly what I'm looking for. Maybe I'll give it another listen here. Let's go ahead and put this one on. Yeah. Now let's go ahead and add some uh, background ambience, and I think that will be this uh, stuff complete. So, I wonder if there's anything like just some some of that gritty sound. And what I think it's called F FX, audio effects, maybe? No samples. Yeah, let's take a listen here. Nope. Ooh, that sounds crisp. That one might even work better. That's not even what I'm looking for at all. Uh. No. Uh. No. That's just a snare. No, I think ASMR sounds like that would be perfect for this. So let's go ahead and just uh, drag that in to the to here. Perfect. That's some nice. Uh, well, effects. And I think one more thing to do is maybe to add something like with some rain and with some uh, vocals, kind of like how you hear in some of the other lo-fis out there, like from Dreamy's uh, playlist and whatnot, you hear some speeches or some lyrics or some voice lines from just famous films or videos or whatnot, just funneled in there. Um, I don't think I have anything in mind, but there is something I did see earlier that I think would be perfect for this. Uh, called rain and train it's a really it's a really long uh, thing but it just has some rain in it and then later on some voice lines so if someone wants to translate that for me in the comments that would be much appreciated some other miscellaneous noises too and then it's got this section at the end there you got the train and towards the end you got this beeping noise here and that's the end of it so yeah, I think that would be perfect for this song to kind of just to start at a specific point on a new track. Pretty much after that, I think that's all the uh, stuff that I need for the song. So as Levi Neha would put it in his videos, I went ahead and took this song and arranged it the way that I like that I think you guys will enjoy it after I'm done talking here. So uh, here is my finished uh, lo-fi beat that I constructed in Ableton Live Light. Have fun. Thank you. 
So anyway guys, that is my first take on Ableton Live Lite. Now will I officially switch over from LMMS to here? Uh, yes and no at the same time because I'll, actually LMMS also supports MIDI input and it actually works with this, uh, with this, oh, pfft, hit my headset there. It does work with this uh, lovely MIDI keyboard. This thing is such a blessing to have. A good price at Guitar Center for about $90. It's pretty cheap, pretty inexpensive. It's just, a, it's a great, uh, it's a great uh, MIDI pad to start with, so um, I'll leave links down in the description for all the all the stuff that I used in today's video, and also, and of course, I got to give another shout out to Will Townsend for the uh, plugin I am using here for OBS Studio. So if you can probably tell by now, my webcam looks different. It's uh, it, I'm recording at 60 FPS, and it looks nice and flush. That's because it's my iPhone, and no, it's not because, and it, I'm not taking video footage directly on the iPhone's camera. Well, I am in this case, but the thing is, I'm actually using the camera from the iPhone in OBS. So I'm not having to use uh, the st storage on the iPhone. I can actually have it uh, right to my computer here. Uh, so this, uh, despite that the it's been getting poor ratings on I I don't understand that, but so I want to give a, like just a big old thumbs up to you, Will Townsend. If you're seeing this, you've done a fantastic job on this plugin for uh, the use that I need, um, and I would love to try to start using this for my webcam. Maybe I'll, also this plugin out in the garage later on in future videos of the drift track and stuff. We'll find out. I'll have to see how I'm going to have to set that up. But anyway, guys, that is. That's my take on, on the song. If you really enjoyed the song, please give it a thumbs up. I plan to release a separate video of just the song alone. And, but other than that, I've been Kay under Nighthawk. I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.